Hello, Junkolics. Today, we're going to be scrapping this Elna Systematic um, sewing machine. It's of the Swedish variety, and uh, it's back from the 50s or 60s. They were a really tough machine. Today, in this day and age, nobody wants them. They only did one kind of stitch. There's no uh, reverse on it. Um, it's just a very plain basic machine and yeah, I guess you could use it for sewing leather or something, but because they were that tough, but I was so excited when I opened the case of this one, this one actually has a foot pedal. Most of the Elna's had a knee control, but this one's got a foot pedal, um, which I can... I've got some big plans for it, so it's not going to be totally scrap. Parts of it is going to be reused. So just to show everybody, I got it plugged in, got the power on, and it works. It's not rotating, so I'm, I imagine there's a belt busted in it, and it might need some some luber, lubrication it sat outside for the last two years for sure but what I want to do with it is take that motor and that pedal with that power supply and put it on my drill powered um, wire stripping machine look for that in a future video um, on the shop hacks Day, which is Wednesdays. So Wednesdays is shop packs and shop improvements. And Saturdays are when I scrap stuff out. So I hope you look forward to that. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. So, yeah, we're going to take this thing apart. Um, I know, like, the case is all cast aluminum, so... There's going to be a lot of good stuff in here. So I'm just going to unplug it, unwrap that cord, get rid of that. This case here is all tin. I'll fill it up with some shred just to save room on the trailer. And uh, we'll get at it. So I'm back. Got, the case, got it out of the case. It's all unwound. I haven't cut any cords. I'm not cutting cords. No matter how much you beg, I'm not cutting the cords. Anyways, I wanted to correct something I said earlier. I said this was of Swedish variety. No. It's actually from Switzerland. And I do apologize. Um, misspoke. But I just wanted to clarify that before I started getting hate mail. Okay, so let's get at it. First of all, we're gonna remove every screw that we can see on the outside. Piece of cast aluminum. I have to remove these feet, but I'll do that off camera. It's not going to add that much weight to our final piece. Yeah, there was some water in here. It sat in the snow bank. That's the reason why I decided to tear this thing up. Because every time I'd snow blow the sidewalks, I'd run into it. So I got mad. Another piece of cast aluminum.
pulled those pins out. Let's see. How does that come out? That wheel comes out. Uh, one more pin. Like that. A tiny little screw. So, my yard allows 3%. So, I'm going to leave that broken off pin. This one here, and that's cast aluminum. Okay, move that out of the way. Get rid of this. So it doesn't poke me. The needle, that'll be stainless steel. Oh, let's just check this. Tin. Okay, now, for most of you scrappers, this is probably not going to be worth it. And truth be told, for me, it's not worth it either. The only thing that's getting me to scrap this properly, okay, the only thing to get me to scrap this properly is because it's got the motor with the pedal and I really want one and I'll probably always save those because I think I can think of enough projects to incorporate that on that it would be beneficial because like truly why wouldn't you want a wire stripper on a foot pedal there's no need for it to run if you're not running it and hanging on to the drill is a is a pain. Look at this. What is that? Piece of tin. There's a bobbin with some thread. Let you Yeah, it's tin as well. Okay. Wow. I bet you my mother could have this thing apart in no time. She is a master when it comes to the sewing machines. I've always watched her fix all of her sewing machines. She's a friggin' wizard when it comes to that. Piece of aluminum. So, just going to pry this sh off, I think. I'll tell you, 
and the Swiss don't want you playing with their stuff, they sure know how to discourage you. Shoe clip. So there's some cleaning up there to do. I'm probably just going to throw that in dirty aluminum. We got some more. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Slotted screws should be made illegal. Whoever came up with that stupid idea should be in jail. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to just twist this up. After all, we're not rebuilding it. There's a piece of cast aluminum. Piece of tin. Why? Gonna have to find a better screwdriver for that. I did have a medium sized one. But as you know, Shop gets messy. You can't find nothing. There, I found it. Let's try this one. Mm. So when the small is too small and the big is too big. I guess you need to get into the in-between one. That is definitely a piece of tin. And let me just take a look. I did not see anything else here. Oops. There's a piece of aluminum. I'll take this one apart. I will not take this one apart. But that was a very giant flipping around with this. Piece 10. Okay, so let's get back at it. <sighs> Somehow, we need to get out of this motor. And I'm thinking this pin has to come out. So, I'm just going to grab this, so we have room, now, 
about this one. Here we go. Let's give this a shot. See that? There's horseshoe clips holding that crap in. That's just the washer. Okay. So now that should. Now, now we're cooking with gas, I think. I see something. I think I see a tiny little section. This thing around. That's what I'm looking for. Is this little motor here? Okay. So it's telling me it's connected. So I need to. What I'm going to do, okay, is I'm just going to, the black is there, and then the blue. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them here. Just so I know which connections I have to join. So the, the black will go to the black, the blue will go to the blue. And then there's two reds. If they're both the same color, it means it doesn't matter which way they hook up. And I may not even need, oops. So now I have this cord. And it's got a nice little power switch to turn the juice on to the rest of the, the machine. I got the pedal and the rest of the cable. Got this nice little motor. It's not brushless, but hey, that's going to work for us. Somehow, I'm going to have to put 
a pulley on here, hook up to a pulley on the, the wire stripper, and uh, connect the foot pedal. I might even just use the foot pedal for a larger motor. I'm just not sure yet. You can let me know what your thoughts are. Okay. So now we're on the home path here. Come on. Don't be difficult. Let go. Mm. Holy. Why? I'm starting to think you need to be Swiss to take this thing apart. Oh. Oh. oh, there's a piece of, I would call that dirty aluminum. That one I would call clean because it's got some brass in it. And they're not going to downgrade you for brass. I guess we don't need this thing anymore. thinking so I said I'm going to cut this belt if I can there we go that'll definitely go in the shred going to do is just separate this, wiggle this back and forth, oh, we still have a rod, oh I see a screw that was hiding. So, all you have to do is, there's a slot in that, just lift and pull. Okay, so now I'm on hour six. And I think I still have half, maybe three quarters left to do. And I was just talking to my buddy at HH Recycling and he gave me an idea. So, 
hang on. Things are going to get fun. So we got a rod that's holding us from smashing us up, so. That, I think, will throw in, would you call that breakage? I don't know. I'm going to throw that in the shred. clean cast aluminum oh and here's another piece pieces everywhere shivy me timbers that came apart pretty good so we got a piece of cast iron and a piece of cast aluminum so we've got the bin tear it out now i'm gonna fill it
clean aluminum, 10 pounds, 10 ounces. Dirty aluminum, one pound, 17 ounces. My yard only gives me shred, so. And then the rest is shred, and I don't weigh shred. So, we got almost 11 pounds of aluminum. We got a motor, a foot pedal, and a switch that I'm not gonna use now because I found a better thing to use on Amazon for $30. So make sure you stay tuned for that episode in a future nice junk kind of way. Um, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you all next week.